Well, what's so interesting about this story is this was one of these kind of marginal niche market uh, uh, cable shows, and uh, it was the tabloid stories that latched onto this and became arguably one of the biggest promotional uh, uh, activities uh, in the history of television. Many, many, many millions of people who had never heard of John, Kate, or any of the eight of their kids uh, started hearing about it uh, uh, between these uh, uh, last seasons. And uh, of course, when the new season debuted not long ago, uh, 10 million people tuned in, which for a TLC cable show is, uh, is a pr pretty high, uh, high ratings. Um, a lot of people watched John and Kate Plus 8 for the very first time uh, when it debuted this season just to see what all the fuss was about. Well, I think it's a combination of we are naturally curious about stories of things going wrong. And then when the tabloids kept telling us these stories over and over, even if you didn't start out interested, you could hardly help it. I mean, it was literally circulating all over the culture. I think the problem they've got now with the show is they got millions of people to watch it to see the quote-unquote train wreck. But all those people that are uh, tuning in to see the exciting, dishy, gossipy sort of stuff are not about to stick around and watch a show about somebody raising eight kids. Unless the dishy gossip and all that kind of stuff continues, this is not the kind of show that's going to appeal to those. And the second problem is that the fan base that liked that show in the first place are now tending to abandon it because it's no longer the sweet little show that they used to enjoy watching sometimes with their kids.